Hello there, my name is Ismas, and today I wanted to just announce that I have released a new version of the asset library. Now we are using version 2.1. I get a lot of questions, people trying to compare the asset library, my add-on, to the Blender asset browser, which is the asset manager that the Blender team is working on. And uh, let me just show you the difference between the two. Uh, one obviously is still in production. The asset browser is still in production. And uh, yeah, so the way you use it, you just have to have a space like this and switch it to the asset browser. and uh, then you can see it's it can be a bit difficult to understand how to use this to be fair it's still in development phase so a lot of things are being changed but I think you have to have a project saved and then you go to the outliner right click and uh, there used to be an option to add the asset to the library but I'm not seeing it here uh, the asset browser is still in development phase so you might see a lot of changes happening uh, some features might be removed some features might be added so things are changing a lot if you want this to be part of your production workflow it might become a bit confusing usually when you are working in production you want to make sure that the functionality you are working with now is going to be there tomorrow or the next week and uh, because uh, the asset browser is still in development phase you, you're really not guaranteed that I remember that there was an option here to just right click on the asset and then uh, add it to the library I'm not seeing that option uh, here so maybe that's a feature that was removed and uh, still here there isn't a, a direct way to show you how to add uh, the asset to your library so one of the big difference is that uh, the asset browser is still in development phase and it has been in development phase for over two years now I think so you're not really sure when it will be available in full form uh, so that you can use it and add it to your pipeline or workflow uh, with, with the guarantee that uh, it's not going to change too much to break your workflow the alternative is the the asset library which is an add-on uh, you can see it's very simple to use i have already linked a few libraries here and i just want to show you how is it it is to use i always start with the default library let me clear search here because this is a new feature i've just added as a way to search within all the libraries you have i can create a new library so for example if i wanted to save this monkey head i you need to make sure that the project you are saving from is you are getting the object from is saved uh, you just have to come here add it an object or a collection or if you have a material you want to save you can add that as well but i want to add it as a as a, as a other object i'll just make sure that uh, call this uh, let me select this call this uh animals for the category create a render preview of this maybe let's give this some new co some colors just a render preview maybe shade smooth uh, do a render preview you can see even the render previews are very fast and uh, this is what you're going to see when you are adding the object now before I even add this to the library I need to make sure that uh, I create a new library uh, so to create a new library I can just hit this button uh, then create a new folder I'll just save it in my library call this test uh, test enter that hit link library and now the library has been created and now I can save this into that library. If I try to save this again, you'll see that uh, uh, it will tell me that this is already in the library just to show, just to make sure that I don't have a lot of duplicates. But uh, if I insist and want to duplicate this, I can duplicate the object and maybe make it a bit, give it uh, some variation. It's using the same material, but it's still, a, it's a different object as you can tell from the name. Uh, maybe let me make sure that this is a different material uh, from what we have give this a render preview maybe this time let me give it something like that uh, save it uh, let's uh, save it if you don't want to add a category it will save in the uncategorized uh, source save uh, save the asset uh, like that now if you go to the get asset you can see I have uh, the two objects like that let me make sure I save this you can't add the same asset into the original project uh, because this is the project file I get I got this asset from I can't add it to there but uh, if I create a new project you can see how easily it is you just install the add-on and right away you are able to work uh, which is a bit different uh, from the asset browser that uh, is being developed by the blender team I know they are doing it that that way because they want to support more features uh, mine is more simple just go in go out you just want to reuse your assets you don't really need to do much uh, so I can just reuse this monkey head here you can see it comes with the materials added I uh, remember I changed the materials a bit uh, before I duplicated that's why you see that uh, it's different here but uh, this we saved the material before we added uh, the assets 
So yeah, I wanted to show off the new features in this asset library. In the previous versions, uh, you only were able to add assets that are from the active asset and uh, the, ac the active library. And the active library for me right now is the test library. And uh, we have just created that and it has only two objects. Uh, but uh, with the new implementation or the new version, you can search for other objects. So let's say, uh, let's try to search something like a tower. Uh, because I know I have a tower in my scene. Search. Right now I'm getting zero results because I'm searching within the active library. But but if I check all, then I can search within all the libraries that I've linked into uh, this into the add-on. So I have these, and I can see now I'm able to access different assets from different libraries uh, with that much easy with much ease. I uh, like that. I can also add this. Uh, by the way, if you want to get these assets, you can go to my CG Trader account, uh, which is CG Trader slash Ismail 3FX. I'll be leaving a link in the description if you want to get the assets. Uh, the asset library add-on doesn't come with the assets. Uh, it just the it's just an empty add-on uh, that uh, you can use to manage your own assets or assets you buy from different places, uh, say uh, CG Trader, Turbo Squid, or even uh, Mega Scans. So you just get them and uh, add them to the library and then you are able to use them the way you want i can clear the search so that i go back to my original uh library i can search for other things i can even search for materials so let's say i usually name my materials matt and then another name uh, to identify them as materials so i can search for matt and that will give me a list of all materials that have a name matt in them and you can see how i get them here and i can reuse them on different assets so for example here uh, let me get this brick material assign it to this and uh, that should replace now uh, the material with uh, the new brick material i've got uh, from this uh, i can also search for something like glass if you have a glass material you can search for glass and you can see how quickly it uh, gets those materials so i can reuse them uh, very easily uh, like that and uh, you can see now in the asset settings you have uh, the path to the original blend file and i can open that directly here uh, it's opening up on my second screen you just get it here you can see it's looking like that and the great thing about this is that uh, uh this is let me see what what is the name of this object you can see it's called suzanne so uh, it means that uh, this is the object so if i make changes to this maybe save uh, save this project and try to add uh, this project again you can see the changes will be reflected uh, within uh, here it's not linked it's just uh, re-imported as a new object uh, but uh, with the same properties and everything uh, like that i uh, can remove it from the library by hitting the remove and uh, then you don't have that anymore and if you want to add it you can add it again yo so that's it uh, that's what i wanted to show off today i uh, thank you for supporting me thank you for everything I'll see you in the next video.